Hey guys, it's Katie. Today I thought I would go over some baby bottles. With Miles, he did not like to breastfeed, so I had to pump and then bottle feed him. So we went through quite a few bottles trying to figure out which ones he liked the best. And then with Gemma, she does breastfeed, but I does the occasional bottle, so I'll tell you what she liked as well. And kind of tell you the pros and cons of each of the bottles here. So the first one is the MAM bottle. And this one we actually ended up getting free in, um, I think from like motherhood maternity, it came with some clothes that I bought. Um, and we ended up liking them, so we bought more. Um, this one comes in three different sizes. This is the medium size, and then they have a smaller one, and then a larger one for when they get older. Um, we actually did end up liking this one a lot. It does have an anti-colic feature. Um, the only like down, well there's a couple downsides to this one. There's a lot of different parts that you have to take off. So of course the top, but then you have to take off the bottom and then it has this white part. As you can see, it sometimes gets stuck um, and it kind of goes in here. You just have to be like really careful and wash these out really good. Get in there with your brush um, and make sure that it's in there nice and firmly before you put your milk in there because if not, it has holes in it. And I've had that happen before where I forgot to put this in there and just milk was everywhere. So um, that's kind of one of the downsides with these. The other downside is that it, the measurements start at 60 milliliters, even on the smaller bottles. Um, and when they're really young, you're not even giving them 60, you might be only giving them 30 milliliters. So it's hard to measure it. It does have a measuring um, part on the cap that goes from 0.5, well no, it goes from 10 to 50 milliliters. But I didn't find this very useful because it's like you pour the milk in here and then you have to pour it in here and then now this is dirty and you gotta clean it. It's just too much work. So that was kind of the negative on the ma'am. But this was Miles's favorite bottle. So we, we stuck with that one for him. Um, next is the Komotomo. So a lot of people have heard of this one. It is supposed to be the best one for breastfed babies because it's the closest mimic to um, an actual breast. It's got like a way different nipple than most um, bottles. So like it's just like really, I mean, it does look like a breast. Um, I do like this one because it is easy to clean. It only has these couple of pieces. Um, the downside with this one that we found is it was hard for Miles to get all of the milk out of it. Like the angle, it just wouldn't work right. And like there was always leftover in here, which is when you're pumping breast milk, you want to use all of it that you can. So um, another downside with this one is it's silicone. So like if you have a pet, the hair, a lot of times will get stuck on this and it's kind of gross. And it's harder for them to hold sometimes because it's like kind of slippery. Um, so that was kind of a negative with this one. But Gemma really seems to like this one so far the best. Um, I think because she is breastfed, she does well with this one. And then one more thing about the Komotomo is that the lid on these are really hard to open. So like we kind of just place them on now, but it's so frustrating when you're trying to open this. Like it is so hard to open. Like that was easy compared to most times. Um, and then if you have like, sometimes if you have like a grandma babysitting or something like that, it is hard for them to get these off. Like you really have to muscle it off. Um, whereas these, they just come right off. So that was really one negative that we kind of hated about the Komotomo. The next two are Dr. Brown's. I just have a glass version and a plastic version. Um, everyone talks about Dr. Brown's for colicky babies. Um, Miles was colicky, so of course we were like, oh, let's try the Dr. Brown's. Um, he did. He was okay with them. We really didn't like the plastic one because it would always leak out of the top. And it was like, we followed all the instructions, did all the things, and we just have a lot of trouble with leaking. And we've tried a couple of different ones and they all leaked for us. Um, but they are cool. They have 
um, like the little insert for the colic, but this is a lot of pieces that you have to wash and a lot of like nooks and crannies, which I didn't like. But once they um, kind of outgrow the colicky stage, you can take this out and then it's just like a normal bottle. Um, so that was the plastic one. They have glass ones too that are the same. We actually like the glass one better. We didn't have any problems with it leaking. The only thing with the glass is that it is heavier, so they might have trouble holding it themselves, or you know, like if they might drop it a lot, this one can kind of be scary or like drop it on their face. It is heavy. Um, I also like the glass because it's like really easy to clean and I feel like it gets cleaner than the plastic. So those were a good option. The last one I have here is the Lansano. I think I'm saying that right, I don't know. Um, we got these to try. They're really, really basic and Miles really didn't seem to care for them at all. Um, I don't even see like a number on the nipple, so I don't know if they come in different like sizes. Whereas the Dr. Brown, the Komotomo, and the Ma'am all have different sizes of nipples. So as they grow, you can get different sizes. So the flow of milk is faster. Um, so this one, they just really didn't like at all. Um, don't really have any complaints about it. They just didn't want to use it. We tried a couple of others that I don't even have here because we didn't even keep them. There was one that was like a Tomi TP one that they absolutely hated. Um, there, there were a bunch that we went through. So I would say um, our favorite were the Glass Dr. Browns, the Komotomo, and the Ma'am. Those would be our choices. But again, every kid is different. You might have to experiment yourself and see what you like and what your child likes. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like it and subscribe to our channels for more awesome content like this one. Thanks, bye.